Welcome back to it, you guys. You are still tuned in to your favorite youth show right here on SABC2. This is Hectic 99, you guys. Now, earlier on, we promised to talk to you guys about race car driving. What is it all about? And we've actually brought in some experts here to help us break things down. David and John, welcome to Hectic 9. Thanks for having us. Okay, cool. So, John, let's start with you. Um, many people aren't really sure about, you know, how do you differentiate um, race car driving, I mean, go-kart driving and race car driving. What is the difference? Um, David, years ago, car driver, you can see he me bolt. <laughs> I'm a race car driver, I'm a bit bigger. Um, no, uh, karting, uh, you sit low to the ground, um, it's much trickier, I would say, than okay. uh, um, um, main circuit driving or oval track driving like I do. Um, the speed's a big difference as well, and just different uh, styles of driving. Oh wow, okay, so David, you're also a GT racer, so yeah. what is that all about and how long have you been doing it? I've been GT racing for a year. Okay. I started karting though when I was 15 and stopped when I was 23 and then got in contact with Lamborghini at the, towards the end of oh, last wow. year and I've been racing with them since, yeah. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> so you mentioned that you actually started when you were 15. Yeah. Um, David, I, I mean, Jean, how long, how early do you think um, should one start if they are interested in this sport? As early as possible. I think the earlier you start, the better, the more experience you can get. Um, as David also mentioned earlier today, uh, you get drivers that start as early as four years old. Mm -hmm. um, in oval track racing, we've had drivers start at six, seven years old. And I mean, if you look where they are today, I mean, it's, it's experience you can't buy. Okay, so for people who have no knowledge or any experience in race car driving or go-kart driving, what would you suggest um, they do if they would like to get into the sport? Um, there's a couple of websites they can visit. Okay. Kart.co.za, that's the national karting website where they can get pricing and where to go. If they are in Cape Town, they can go to the Killarney Racetrack. Uh, there's yeah. a shop there mm -hmm. uh, where they can buy their equipment. And in Johannesburg, there's a track called Swat Corps, uh, which also has a big track for main circuit racing and karting. And they can find okay, all the cool. details there. Now, let's talk about a main circuit racing. What does the actual vehicle look like? And, you know, what sort of gear do you need? Well, a typical main circuit car, oval track car, would be something that you'd recognize on the road, like uh, your City Golfs or Toyota Corollas oh, or whatever. Okay. Um, basically, they strip out the insides and they put in a, a, what you call a, a roll cage, which is a tubular construction inside the car, oh, which okay. is mounted to either six or eight points inside the car. Uh, so when you do fall over, eventually, <laughs> uh, you are covered. <laughs> yeah. okay. um, you've got your racing seat, uh, you strapped firmly into the racing seat as well. Okay. And then you've got your, your protective gear, like uh, David's brought his kit here with a, with a fire suit, okay. uh, helmet, boots and gloves. Okay, sweet. And then for car driving, is it similar? What does the yeah. vehicle look like and what do you use to protect yourself? The cart is uh, very low to the ground. There's no seat belt or road cage. Oh, it's, wow. It's actually intentional because if you do happen to flip, which is not often, <laughs> uh, then the, you get thrown out of the cart, which is actually safer. You don't want it landing on top of you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the suit that you wear is not fireproof, but it's actually, if you hit the tarmac, it doesn't scratch you. So okay. it's really, it protects you really well. Also, mm. uh, that's my helmet and gloves and okay. boots. Yeah. Now, you guys are both experienced drivers. So um, what would you say are some of the major risks that are involved in this type of sport? To be honest with you, in the whole time that I've been racing, I haven't had any major injuries. Okay. Some of my friends who played rugby have broken more bones than I have <laughs> had any scratches. Mm -hmm. um, the risks are obviously that you're driving at high speed, but you're always traveling in the same direction. There's medics on site. Sometimes when I race in Europe, helicopters on site. Um, so there's a perception that it's a dangerous sport, which obviously is because of the high speed, yeah. but otherwise you're well protected and well looked after. Okay, now in South Africa, you know, race car driving is not as popular as, you know, some other sports such as soccer and cricket. Why, how do you think that we can create more awareness in respect to the sports? John? Well, shows like this, I mean, this helps. Yeah. Uh, get, getting more publicity. Um, grassroots. Yeah, yeah grassroots. Yeah. Just getting more awareness about racing. Yeah. I mean, Schumacher came from Germany, Kuros Marswell came from South Africa. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the talent in this country. We've got yeah. more than enough talent in this country. I mean, David races abroad. I mean. Okay, so, for our viewers that are watching and they are super inspired right now and they're interested in the sport, how would you suggest they start getting into it? Buy a go kart. Go down to a local go kart track. Um, in fact, you don't even need to buy one the first time. You can pay to do a couple of laps. Okay. See if you enjoy it. Most of the kids do. And take it from there. You need to take it step by step. Don't think about the big picture. Enjoy yeah. it until you're at a point where you feel like you have the budget because you need sponsors okay. to go racing. And if you're successful enough, if you have the ability, which 
like Jean says, in this country, there's lots of it. Okay, cool. And there you have it, you guys. Race car driving in a nutshell. Thank you so much, David and Jean, yes. for joining us. I'm sure that our Hectic 99 viewers are inspired, you guys. So let us know. Get, um, hit us up online. We want to know um, what you think about race car driving and any other extreme sports that you happen to be interested in. And talking about interacting with you guys, let's actually find out what you guys are saying online. Here's Ayanda on live chat. Nine, nine, nine. Hectic.